welcome to story time. Miss Erica is a bit under the weather today, so I'm going to be reading your story. We hope that she feels better really soon. Um, let's sing our welcome song. We welcome you here. We welcome you here. We welcome everybody. We welcome you here. Let's do our rhyme together. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, then your hands will surely show it. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. Good job, guys. Today, our book is called Invasion of the Unicorns by David Dergesti. Now, this book is about um, a unicorn that comes to Earth to try to, he has a mission and we'll find out what happens in our book. Day one, secret agent 007 reporting. Dear fearless leader, success, I have reached planet Earth. You are right, we look exactly like all the other stuffed animals. The earthlings will never guess that I'm an alien or a spy. My mission is to decide if our unicorn army should invade this planet and make the earthlings our humble servants. First, I must allow myself to be captured by an earthling family. This won't be easy. Their countless attempts to fetch me have not gone well. I have witnessed what earthlings call temper tantrums. Day three, at last an earthling father has snagged me for his daughter. He even did a happy dance. Now that my mission has begun, I must be very careful. The earthling dog might be on to me. Day four, earthlings make no sense. Their dog brings all sorts of mud and dirt into the house. But who gets thrown into the wash machine and the dryer? None other than me. Day five. You're not going to believe this. Every time the earthling daughter gets a new toy, she has a tea party. She loves her toys. She loves them to pieces. Some are missing their eyeballs. Do you think that's going to happen to me? Day 11. Camping is a strange earthling adventure. Earthlings sit around a fire and eat something called s'mores while they tell scary stories. And then, get this, they sleep outside. I couldn't sleep a wink. Day 20. Today I ride in a big yellow transport with earthling daughter and her friends. Some of them brought their favorite toys, some of them their favorite pets. But then there were those who forgot to bring their manners. Fearless leader, it might be time to invade this hostile planet. Day 32. This is the last straw. Today, Earthling Dog tried to bury me in the backyard. Fortunately, Earthling Mother was there to rescue me. Later, I got revenge. When everyone was sleeping, I found the most amazing earthling treat, peanut butter cookies. I left the empty bag next to earthling dog. Fearless leader, before you come rescue me, I must get the cookie recipe for our planet. Day 50. Maybe you could hold off on that rescue. I actually had fun today. Today was a snow day. There's no school, but there's lots of snow. Kids eat it and throw it and slide down it. I wish we had snow on our planet. Day 63. It was Earthling Daughter's birthday today. Oh, what a party. I think we should celebrate these special days on our planet. However, I would not invite the earthling dog. What a party animal. Day 86. Every night, earthling mother reads us a bedtime story, tucks us in, and then kisses us goodnight. 
I can't believe I look forward to this earthling behavior. It makes me feel warm and fuzzy. Fearless leader, why don't we do bedtime stories on our planet? Day 90. Earthling daughter had her swim lesson today. I didn't know that earthlings float and unicorns don't. Day 98. Earthling daughter is sick today. She sneezed and coughed all over me, but I didn't mind. Hugging me, hugging me seemed to make her feel better. Day 99. Yep, she's all better. I highly recommend a hug. Day 100. My final report to you, fearless leader. These earthlings are a kind and loving family. Their dog needs to learn to behave, but other than that, I really like it here. So I'd say forget the invasion and send more of us to Earth for unicorn vacation. The end. Good listening, guys. Oh, my goodness. Look what I found here at the library. He came and visited. I hope you have a, can find a unicorn in your day today. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather out today? Is it windy? Is it rainy? Is it sunny out today? Well, I look out the window at the library and it's not sunny at all. It's cloudy again today. It's not quite as cold, so bundle up and go outside and enjoy the day. Now it's time to say goodbye, say goodbye, say goodbye. Now it's time to say goodbye. Until next time. Don't forget to check out Morgan on Thursday and like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Bye-bye.